We shall be reading from the Gospel of Matthew, the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 43. The Gospel according to Matthew, 24, 42, verse 42. Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Who then is a faithful and wise servant? whom his master made ruler over his household, to give them food in due season? Blessed is that servant, whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Assuredly I say to you that he will make him ruler over all his goods. But if that evil servant says in his heart, My master is delaying his coming, and begins to be his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunkards, the master of that servant will come on a day when he is not looking for him, and at an hour that he is not aware of, and will cut him in two, and appoint his portion to the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise, and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in the vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. At that midnight a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming, go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose, trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No! Lest there should not be enough for us and you, but go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterward the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, As surely I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man travelling to a faraway country, who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. And to one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on a journey. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them, and made another five talents. And likewise he who had received two gained two more also. But he who had received one went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. After a long time the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered to me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You are faithful over a few things. I will make you rule over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also, who had received two talents, came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have, made, you have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown, and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid, and went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown, and gather where I have not scattered seed, so you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers, and at my coming I would have received back my own with interest. Therefore take the talent from him and give it to him who has ten talents. For to everyone who has, more will be given, and he will have abundance. But from him who does not have, even what he has will be taken away. And cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Amen. The invitation, the proposition, and the command of the Lord is, 
Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. What does keeping watch mean? Become ready. The word of God explains. Be ready because the hour you do not know of, the Son of Man is coming. And who is ready anyway? So in that day, richly, he can enter through the gates with lots of fruit so he can obtain a great reward in heaven. And the Word of God defines this ready person as a person who is faithful and wise servant. Who is the faithful and wise servant anyway? In which God will entrust His servants so He can give to them the right food in the due season by the Lord. Who is the wise servant? That once the Word of God explains with a nice parable. There were ten virgins, five were wise, but the other five were foolish. Come, let me tell you, who is a wise servant? And who were the wise virgins and the foolish virgins? So you can be ready. So you can be awake when the Lord comes to rapture you. I will tell you the word of God says, Christ says, who is the wise? In the kingdom of heaven, whoever says, Lord, Lord, will not enter the kingdom of heaven. But in the kingdom of heaven, will enter he and she who does the will of my Father in heaven. And I, he who will enter the kingdom of heaven because he does the will of my Father in heaven, I will call him wise. Because... When he built his house, he built it on the rock. So the wise person, it is he who hears the word of God and does the will of God. The wise person is he who comes out truly like the five wise virgins to meet the Lord and has all that's necessary. He goes out to meet him and he has taken all the measures. In other words, he has wisdom and understanding. So, he can encounter having all that's necessary, all the situations which will be found before him. And so, he can encounter all the situations that will come before him. Firstly, he must hear the word of God rightly with sound doctrine so he can walk rightly so he can do the will of God rightly so he can understand what God says to him but he needs wisdom and understanding so the word of God to reach in his heart not defiled not changed not perverted but he needs to have understanding and wisdom and the power of the Holy Spirit so what he hears rightly, so he can understand them rightly and do them rightly with the power of the Holy Spirit. So, I can trust him who hears rightly, him who does rightly, him who is wise when the moment comes so he can give the right food in the right season. Rightly sensibly, with understanding and wisdom, not to poison his fellow servants, but to give to them good food and to edify them and increase them so God can be glorified among them. Who is then the wise servant? The person who hears with all cautiousness the will of God does with even more cautiousness and devotion, the Word of God. He who cares about the Word of God, and he who asks for wisdom and understanding, so he can have all that's necessary, so he can encounter until the end, in other words, to persevere until the end in the will of God. Who were the wise and foolish virgins? 
The foolish virgins were they who lit their lamps and went without taking under account that sooner or later their oil will run out. They know that it will run out, but they did not take this under account. They were superficial. The wise, the oil is running out. We need to buy some more so we can have with us necessary. Our wisdom is running out. We need to fill up with more wisdom. Our understanding is finishing. We need more understanding. Our power is running out. We need to be filled up again. The word of God is finishing. We have to be filled up again. God did not give the people of Israel manna for one day, nor for one week, nor for a month, nor for a year. God gave manna from the beginning until the end. And I want the word of God to abide richly inside of me from the beginning until the end. And I want the Holy Spirit to abide with power inside of me from the beginning to the end. What should I do then? What does the word of God say so I can have the ability so I can persevere until the end? The Word of God says lots of things. Understand them. Now I need the power of the Holy Spirit so I can do them. So, we're going well until now. I can say that God sees me as someone who's wise. I'm going well. I will fight more. I will always seek the help of God, the wisdom of God, God's understanding, the Word of God, and the Holy Spirit. What else but the Word of God is the wisdom of God that reveals to me? What else but the power of the Holy Spirit is the understanding of God which gives me the power and guidance so I can do? I will seek therefore and ask and I will remain with the grace of Christ as I'm asking for wisdom and understanding, as I'm asking for the Word of God, as I'm asking for the power of the Holy Spirit, as I'm studying and meditating the Word of God and being filled with the Holy Spirit, I believe with all assurance and my hope is sure and safe that I will reach it to the end. In the sensibility of God, I'm not in danger. Because I acknowledge my weakness, I acknowledge my mistakes, I acknowledge how small and unimportant I am, I acknowledge that I cannot reach it to the end if I don't ask every day the wisdom of God and God's understanding, if I don't study daily the Word of God, and if I'm not filled daily with the Holy Spirit. I will study, I will be filled, and I will reach there. God will take me there, but I will reach there. Until the end. And when the Lord will come and say, The bridegroom is coming, I will rise. I will be filled with the Holy Spirit. I will light my lamp again. And I will go and meet Him. So, I'm going well until now. I am in those who God calls wise servants. But let's see now, am I in those who God calls faithful servants? He is like a man travelling to a faraway country who called his own servants and delivered these goods to them. And to one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on a journey. God will do this. And to all he gives, to someone five, someone else two, one, he gives to everybody. He has given work to everybody. He has given a mission to everybody. He has given responsibility to everybody. Who of us can say, I haven't got no responsibility? There's no such a man. To everyone, he has given gifts, and natural and spiritual, and he will give more and more. But who of those, all of those servants, was until the end faithful? He who received five went and traded with them and made another five talents. Who is a faithful servant? He who traded, who worked the talents. Otherwise, what would he be? Lazy and wicked. He didn't tell him what to do. He just gave him five talents and he went and worked them. What did he do? The word of God doesn't tell us. He used his abilities that he had. 
He used the five talents that God gave him. But he worked, traded them, until when? Until the end? He remained faithful. Now, here it is, my beloved. Do you want to remain faithful? Who is the faithful and wise servant? Is it you? Are you? Are you wise? For example, I am. Am I faithful though? Yes, if I work what God has given me to work with, because I couldn't go home and sit there, watch TV, sleep, not read, not pray, not think of anything important, and enjoy the freedom that God has given me. You're not a faithful servant then. You're something else. You're a bit lazy and a bit wicked, but you're not a faithful servant. Repent. Return. Because if it's not proven that you are faithful from your fruit, he will say to you, Depart from me, lazy and wicked servant, dear Lord. You did not remain faithful over a few things. How will I make you rule over many things? Since you worked with what you had, and you stood faithful, I will give you more. So, each one of us today, my beloved, knows very, very well, I do, if yesterday he was a wise or foolish servant, if yesterday he was a faithful or lazy and wicked servant. We know this. Not because I had understood what had happened, but because God comes and reveals to me, and says to me, Come, let me explain to you, my child, if you're going well. Are you of those who keep watch? I don't see this. Are you of those who are ready? Huh? I don't see this either. You're from the other side who sleep and sleep and who are not ready. And the Lord will come in an hour you are not aware of and He will say to you, Show me your fruit in which you did yesterday. I will say, Lord, I hid your talent. Go into the outer darkness, things are serious, my brethren, and we must repent. We must repent. Because the word of God says, be careful from everyday worries, the cares of life, desires of other things. Be careful of the pride of life. Be careful of laziness, wickedness. Be careful, be careful, be careful of the lack of prayer. Be careful of the lack of studying the Bible. Be careful because the hour you're not aware of, the Son of Man is coming. How will I entrust you if you are not faithful so I can give you more? How and why? Do you want to make me into a God who shows partiality? And you ask, even though you know I can't give it to you, I will never give it to you. Because I'm not a God that shows partiality. I'm a God who's good, just. I am pleased to give to bless those who work with fear and trembling their salvation. Amen. My brother, do you understand this? And it's good for us to think of yesterday. And the day before that. Let's think about that. Lord, I repent. I repent. Yesterday I was foolish. The day before I was unfaithful. Give me wisdom and understanding, Lord, take it. And today God is giving us wisdom and understanding. You know that? I'm speaking the truth. Today God is giving us wisdom and understanding so we can understand and comprehend. Repent. Return. And to remain in His Word. Always remaining in His Word. And in prayer. So we can be wise servants. And to work for Him, so you can be faithful servants. So God can say, full of pleasure, like He said to Solomon, Well done, good and faithful servant. Well done, wise servant. Come here now. You are the one who I said, Who is the wise and faithful servant? Come, now let me make you ruler over my household. Now, you have and you can give good food. Because you've got wisdom. You have and you can give right food because you have understanding. 
you have and you can give continually until the end because you're faithful. But be careful. Be careful of the trap which is coming before you. I want you to be good, not bad. A good servant. A gracious servant. Not a bad servant. My beloved, you know how serious today's lesson is. I believe that God is giving us this so we can understand it. We're playing with our salvation head and tails if we're not careful. I'm not saying we're playing with blessings which comes and goes, but we're playing with our salvation head and tails. Five foolish virgins lost their salvation because they weren't careful. The servant who was lazy and wicked lost the glory of God because he wasn't careful. Let me say it correctly. He lost his salvation by the lack of revelation because he never ever asked for wisdom and understanding from the Lord. And even though he could have been the only servant wise and faithful, he was like the many who were foolish and unfaithful. And this is for everybody in this room, from the first to the last, including me. This is for all of us. And I'm sure that the Holy Spirit now is searching all our hearts and stirring up our hearts and mine. And it's turning our hearts upside down and saying, Where were you yesterday? What did you do? What was yesterday? Saturday. Oh, I went to the radio station. What did you do after that? Saturday isn't one or two hours or three hours. It's 24 hours. Okay, three hours. You did something for the Lord. What did you do with the other 21 hours? Dear Lord, I'm going to stop. Give me wisdom and understanding. And give me grace so I can repent and change. Amen, brethren. Are we going to change? Are we going to change? With the help of God. With the grace of Christ. And when we will change, be careful. Be careful, lest your heart get burdened. Because the Bible says, if that evil servant, faithful, wise, faithful and wise, yes, but he was evil. But if that evil servant says in his heart, why? Because the evil servant has got love. You could have faith. You could be wise. If you haven't got love, you are a sounding brass or a clanging symbol. If you've got the gift of prophecy and you understand all the mysteries and all knowledge, you are nothing. And if you give all your possessions to the poor, if you haven't got love, it profits you nothing. So what are you, an evil servant? But I'm wise, bad servant. I'm faithful, but you're bad, evil, why? Because you haven't got patience, you haven't got long suffering. Love suffers long, is kind, it waits, it bears all, believes, hopes all things, endures all things. Have you got these things? No, Lord, I repent. Amen, brethren. We repent in this also. No matter where the Lord tests us at, we are useless in the end. That's why we need the grace of God. That's why we need the grace of God. And if you do all the will of God, say, I am but a useless servant, because we were obligated to do what we did. And a servant, my brethren, is a servant till the end. And God showed me a nice image, a beautiful image, a mother with a baby. In the morning, she washed the clothes. She cooked the meals. She ironed the clothes. She didn't eat a thing. She was in service. A servant. When midday came, you know when she ate? Once she fed her child. Why? Because she had appointed herself to the service of her child. In the service of her child. What servant is this who comes from the field? And when he reaches home, he doesn't firstly put food for his master to eat. And then he sits down to eat. Who is a servant who doesn't do this? 
and I said, how nice is mother? Became a servant of her child, exactly as a word of God says so. What made her a servant? Love, my beloved. Because a mother loves her child. Now, I want to be a wise and faithful servant, my Lord, and good servant. For me not to say the Lord is delaying coming and beat my fellow servants, an angry, a strict servant. You're not doing things well. A ruler, not like Solomon, who was a servant, a dictator, not like Solomon, who had this nice opinion. These people are not mine, they're yours, Lord. But he beat his fellow servants. He ate without taking into account if someone else has eaten. He drinks and with the drunkards. What will the master do to that servant who's got no love, who beats, who gets angry, who gets wild, who scandalizes, who's offended, who's transformed into something ugly, who is rude, who despises? He doesn't know how to humble himself, doesn't know how to give way, doesn't know how to submit himself. What will it do to this person? What it did to the lazy person? Both of them in the lake of fire. My beloved brethren, this is very, very serious. We are putting our salvation in danger of playing heads and tails with it. You're not suitable for a servant. You always get angry. But I'm right. You've lost the game. A servant never ever gets angry to his master, and nor who are right next to you are your masters. You know this, they're all your masters. Whoever's next to you, they're all your masters. The Lord made them your masters. So you can serve them. That's why he brought you to this church. So you can serve them. That's why he blessed you. So Solomon can serve them. That's why he strengthened him and exalted him. So he can fulfill the will of God. He made him king to build a great temple, a great work, which was unique. And because he was faithful, God made him unique. Today, my beloved, may God make us all unique. And who will be the unique person? He who is wise. He who reads the word of God and prays with the Holy Spirit. The faithful. He who works with whatever God has given him. And the good servant. He who has in his heart love. I am not like that. I don't know if you are. But I am not. But we will last today from God. Wisdom and understanding. Grace and mercy. So he can make us like that. Amen.